For the glass high-rises that have become the trademark of the cities of the Gulf, the most important environmental factor is the desert sun. When architect Abdel Majid Karanouh was asked to design twin buildings in Abu Dhabi that are contemporary, sustainable, and culturally relevant, he looked to tradition. Not allowing the sun to land directly on the skin of the building, causing overheating and glare, was a very simple concept. And that's why using the mashrabiya, inspired from the past and inspired from nature, was a no-brainer. Used in Islamic architecture for centuries, a mashrabiya is a latticed screen used to diffuse sunlight and keep buildings cool without blocking sunlight or a view of the outside. The north side of the buildings, which never receive direct sunlight, are unshaded. The architectural challenge was how to build a facade that could mirror the dynamic movement of the sun. So we started looking at something that could be more three-dimensional, offer more flexibility offer more geometrical shapes that could adjust to the movement of the sun. The solution was inspired by another traditional art, origami. These computer-controlled three-dimensional triangular screens respond directly to the sun's movement, unfolding like an umbrella when the sunlight hits them. That's what makes these buildings greener. Solar rays can heat the outside surface of windows up to 90 degrees Celsius, nearly 200 degrees Fahrenheit. By shielding the glass from the sun, the screens are reducing solar gain, reducing glare, letting in more diffused natural light into the building, saving energy by requiring less artificial lighting and 50% less air conditioning in the workspaces. You'll notice that the roof is tilted at an angle. Now that's the direction facing south, which gets maximum sunlight. The initial plan was to put solar panels up there, a seemingly obvious solution to save energy in a place as sunny as Abu Dhabi. But it turns out that despite the intense year-round sunshine, the dust and the sand actually make solar panels much less practical than you'd think. Karanouh says even the thinnest layer of dust can reduce the efficiency of solar panels by nearly half. Proper maintenance means regular cleaning using water jets pumping out fresh water, a scarcity in an arid country like the UAE. You may find out that you might spend so much energy to desalinate the water and get it to where it needs to be and then clean the panels. You'll find out that that energy may equate or even exceed the energy that you get out of the photovoltaic panels. Solar panel technology may eventually become an option in the future, but for now, the simplest solution has been to look to the past. Shams al-Wazir, CNN, Abu Dhabi.